Hello, first graders. This is Ms. Donahue. I'm going to go over day 46 activities in your packet. Today, we will not be having a Zoom or office hours, but my hope is that once you have finished watching this video, you can do all of the activities by yourself, maybe with some help from mom and dad, but my hope is that we don't have any questions about any of the activities on the packet. All right, so it's gonna be this row right here on your packet that says day 46. Remember, don't worry about the date, only worry about the day. For math today, you are going to do the review strategies to 20 activity board. This is how to fill out this activity board. You're going to complete the start here activity on page 10. Use a crayon to shade in the box or trace the outside of the box so that you can still see your work and your answer. Then choose which arrow to follow next and complete the next activity. Repeat this three more times. So which means that you're only going to be completing four boxes all together. So please do not get overwhelmed with all of those boxes and all of the work. You're only choosing four of them to do, but you're following the arrows. You can use the 10 frame map on page 11 to help you solve the problems on the activity board. There are activities with links and those are optional. I did wanna show you how um, you can do this activity board. So right here, it says start here. So this is gonna be the first box that you do. These are addition and subtraction equations that you're going to solve. Again, on page 11, you can use a 10 frame to help you solve these equations. Once you have finished solving these equations, then you can, um, like it said, you can color in the box, or it might be a better idea if you take your crayon and you just kind of trace the outs around the box so that you can still see your work. So just like this, just trace the outside with your, with your crayon. Then you have an option here. You can either choose to go this way with the arrow, or you can choose to go this way with the arrow. So let's say that I chose this arrow. So this one has a link. So I don't wanna do that one. So maybe I'm gonna go the other way. So I'm gonna do this activity in this box. Once I have completed this box, then I'm going to trace it again with my crayon. All right, so now I can choose to maybe, let's say, follow this arrow down. Then I'm gonna complete this activity and trace it with my crayon. Sorry, the tracing is a little hard on a computer. All right, then I'm going to follow, I've got two options of arrows. I can either go this way or I can go this way. So I'm actually, I wanna go this way. So I'm going to do that activity, then trace in the box. But remember, you have to do that activity first before you trace the box. Tracing the box lets you know that you have completed that activity. So, like it said in the directions, you're going to do the start here first and then pick three more activities to do. So you should have four total. Again, you can choose to either trace the outside of the box or color in. But if you color in, you might go over your work and um, that might be hard for you guys to see your answers. So tracing it might be the best bet. So this is how you're going to complete your activity board. And then after you've completed your activity board, then you can choose to do Dreambox or Ingenuity for um, about 15 minutes for some extra math. Okie dokie, reading for today. This is the optional video that goes with the day 46 lesson. Again, this is where the teacher reads you the story and also asks you the questions. So if you choose to have an adult read it to you, then you're going to listen to the story the first day of school on page 17. So you'll find this on page 17. Once you've listened to the story, then you're going to, going to um, think and talk about these questions. Why do you think new situations often make people nervous? What 
do you do to prepare for your first day of school? So you can pause the video here and you can think and talk about these questions with an adult big brother, big sister um, at your house. Then you have the writing portion. So you're going to write to describe how Sarah feels and why she feels that way. And this is on page 18 of your packet. So you'll see day 46, and then these are going to be the questions that you answer. Question number one, how does Sarah feel as she gets ready for her first day of school? So you're gonna go back into the text to find the answer to this. And this is the sentence starter. As Sarah gets ready for school, she feels, and you're going to fill in your answer. Question number two, what details in the text or pictures help you know how Sarah feels? So again, you're gonna to have to go back into the text to help you find the details. And this is your sentence starter. I know she feels blank because the text tells me, slash picture show me, and you'll fill in how you know how Sarah feels. All right, so word work for today. You're going to, um, again, learn a new skill. So this video does a great job teaching the new skill to help you read the new words for cycle 21, I'm sorry, 25 word list. Once you've watched the video, then you're going to do this activity. It's called syllable sleuth. Write the words from the cycle 25 word list. Locate the vowel sounds in each word and put a dot below them. Look between the vowels and divide the word into syllables by drawing a vertical line. See the word list on page 20. So here is an example of how syllable sleuth works. So the first step is to find the vowels and put a dot below um, each vowel and you might find vowel teams or you might just find vowels by themselves. So in this word, the vowel A and E are by itself in this word. So you'll put a dot below A and a dot below E. Then your next step, step two, is to look between the vowels and divide the word into syllables by drawing a vertical line. So I drew my line in between bass and ket because these vowels are closed vowels. So the A is saying a ah, and the E is saying e. Eh. So my line goes in between the S and the K. And so if I'm sounding out this word, I would say bas ket, basket. So this strategy is an awesome tool to use in order to help you take apart a big word. And again, you're first checking out the vowels. Sometimes the vowels might be closed in between the consonants. Sometimes you might see vowel teams. And we've learned a lot about vowel teams the past couple of weeks. Social studies. The topic for today is caring for our community. So many in our community have been caring for us over the past couple of months. These people have been called frontline workers. They have included doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers, postal carriers and delivery people, store clerks and food services, food service workers, firefighters and police officers, and so many everyday heroes. Your activity for today. What community workers would you like to show gratitude for today? Talk with an adult about who you chose, what they have done to make a difference, how you would like to lift them up. So you're going to be choosing from the, um, you can either choose from the examples that they gave here or the so many other everyday heroes that are not listed. Then you can send thank you cards, create and deliver encouragement posters, Take on tasks for those workers you know they don't have time to do, 
or come up with your own way to make somebody's day. And I know your teachers would love to hear about what you guys did or what you guys came up with. Then you'll finish out the day by choosing a specials activity. Don't forget to take time in between each subject area to have a brain break. Make sure that you are finding a comfy spot to work, that you are working as hard as you can, because I know that these last couple of days, all we want to do is go outside and play, but you're almost there, guys. Um, I'm so proud of you. I know all the first grade teachers are so proud of you. Let's get through this and finish out day 46 strong. I hope everybody has a wonderful Friday.